As we look ahead, a lot of that activity is actually going to close in 2023, so we've got great visibility in our pipeline. I'm here today with Chris Constant, President and CEO of Getty Realty Corp. Getty's portfolio is comprised of freestanding properties that offer essential goods and services tied to convenience and automobility. How have convenience stores performed amid and emerging from the pandemic? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, well, going into the pandemic, the industry was very healthy with a, a large emphasis on the C-Store and food service inside of the C-Store. I'd say during the pandemic, our tenants were very good at changing their product mix to adapt to what the consumer needed, which was more grocery type items, health and safety items. Um, the result was they had a, a record year in 2020 in the C-Store, which is pretty incredible when you think about uh, what was going on in the rest of the world. Turning into 21 and 22, uh, what you saw was a return to food service, C-Store, emphasis on um, whether it's br their brands or technology inside the store, using loyalty programs to drive customers. Um, and, and really the tenants are all focused on creating that brand awareness and driving foot traffic in, inside the store for food, beverages, and traditional merchandise. Getty is committed to healthy environmental practices. What challenges do convenience store and other automotive retail properties in your portfolio pose when it comes to these sustainability practices? Yeah, uh, so we published our first corporate responsibility report this year, which we're really proud of. Um, and we view um, ESG as a journey. And I think a lot of our tenants in the C-Store business would agree with that. Uh, there's changes in technology, whether it's um, on the C-Store side with say energy efficient heating, cooling, uh, LED lighting, um, maybe charging stations inside, st outside store, excuse me. Um, and then in terms of compliance and on the, the gas side of the business, they're really focused on just doing the right thing for the environment while still providing a, a good and service to the consumer. And as you look ahead to 2023, what are you seeing as far as acquisitions or dispositions? So we're in a great spot right now. Uh, we ended the quarter with $150 million of acquisitions and development projects under contract, um, and we funded most of that activity as of quarter end. Um, as we look ahead, a lot of that activity is actually gonna close in 2023, so we've got great visibility in our pipeline. Um, and our acquisitions team is out underwriting new opportunities all the time. Um, and I think what we're seeing is the seller is starting to adjust to new pricing um, it's very hard to ignore what's going on in the rest of the world with the credit markets and even the equity markets to a lesser extent. Um, and, and we're seeing more receptivity to our, our underwriting and our pricing, and I think that's going to lead to more acquisitions over time. 